Hello everyone and welcome to the OASP Disciple. In this video I'm going to show you how to solve the chat U challenge from the real world CTF. Here they provide us two links and the source code. They assure us there is no cross-site scripting on the server, maybe there is on the client, and that we will find the flag in the admin's cookie. The challenge application is a live chat application where we can send messages. We can supply a nickname and a room to join. The cross-site scripting bot, the other URL, is for us to send a URL for the admin to open. So we have to find the cross-site scripting on this application and then send the payload for the admin to open and send us his cookie. If we test this URL field, we see right away that it must start with this, which is the live chat application. If we submit it, the admin will check it. Now let's take a look at the source code. This application is a Node.js application which is serving this index.html to the client side. This will be the code that the admin will be running on his browser. They are using Socket.io to send and receive messages from the server. They are taking two parameters from the search query, nickname and room. They must exist. And they have to be the only parameters in the query. Then here, I notice that they are connecting to the Socket.io server and this piece of code is vulnerable to open redirection. So we can actually redirect the client to connect to our Socket.io server. If we do that, then we can send a malicious message to the client to trigger the cross-site scripting we need. To do that, the client has to receive a message with the room equal DOM purify and with the isHTML parameter set to true. And if that happens, it will add what we send from the malicious server to the inner HTML of this item and it will add it to the page. If we take a look at the server that is running on the application, we can see that if we pass the room DOM purify, it will use DOM purify to sanitize our input. And this will disable our payload, so we have to craft a malicious server to bypass this. On this malicious server, we will wait that the client makes a Socket.io connection to it, and then we will reply with a message containing our cross-site scripting payload in the text parameter and the isHTML set to true, so the cross-site scripting payload triggers on the client side of the admin. Here, we will just make a connection to our own server again and pass a parameter that will introduce the admin cookie and send it to us. You can check this malicious server code in the CTF time write-up. The link is below. To run it, I created an exception in my firewall to accept inbound connections, so that way it will be open to the internet. Now, if we run this malicious server, and then we go to the cross-site scripting bot and sending this exact payload, the admin will join the room DOM purify, and then here we will pass this that will make the Socket.io in the client connect to our malicious Socket.io server. When we press submit, the admin will visit our URL and we will get the flag on our server. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. See you on the next one.